welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be reading about three different SCPs. SCP-5514 and SCP-2406, which was suggested by Gundam 2018B. And also SCP-4970, which was suggested by Iconic Weeb. Gundam 2018 and Iconic Week, thank you very much for your suggestions. I appreciate it greatly. I'll be putting a link in the description below so you could check out their YouTube channels. And also, I'll be putting a link in the description so you could check out the SCPs for yourself. They're very interesting SCPs, so I highly recommend it. So again, thank you very much for the suggestions. I appreciate it greatly. SCP-5514 is basically this large robot humanoid that was created by the SCP Foundation and other foundations to basically handle large scale threats that threaten humanity. So that's basically what it is. It's like a combat robot that's man operated and it was created to handle large threats. I'll be putting a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. So Special Containment Procedures SCP-5514 is currently being used as the primary means of defense against the ongoing MH-class large-scale aggressor overrun scenario. As such, limited containment protocols are in order. As a result of the ongoing SK-class broken masquerade scenario, there are no security protocols in place concerning SCP-5514. MTF ETA-5 Jagar Bombers has been trained to pilot SCP-5514 and is in charge of controlling the, and directing the vehicle. Liaison from Global Occult Coalition and by He Brazil government have been assigned to assist in piloting SCP-5514. SCP-5391 Research Head Mikasa Kaori has been attached to ETA-5 in order to assist with tactical decision in command of SCP-5514. In the event that a large-scale aggressor attacks a city or other developed area, SCP-5514 is to be immediately deployed to said area in order to engage the entities. Lethal force is authorized against all the entities which SCP-5514 will be fighting. Description SCP-5514 is a massive humanoid mech-like vehicle constructed by the Foundation, with assistance from the Global Occult Coalition. SCP-5514 is currently being utilized as part of defense against the current ongoing MH-class large-scale aggressor overrun scenario. To this end, SCP-5514 is engaged in the combat and physical engagement of large-scale aggressors, also known as LSAs. SCP-5514 has managed to successfully kill or otherwise incapacitate 12 LAS. Multiple anomalous phenomena were utilized in the construction of SCP-5514. A full description of these anomalous phenomena have been attached to this document. See Addendum 5514.1. Construction. Progress began on the construction of SCP-5514 in 1988, following the destruction of Site 03 by a previously unidentified LSA. Given the lack of defenses available to He, Brazil, and the known presence of other LSAs in the world, the key project was created as a preliminary working group to determine the best method of defending civilians against another LSA. The key project quickly determined several problems with all potential forms of defense. Large-scale aggressors proved resistant to most forms of traditional attack leading to the belief that they had some form of defensive ability that protected them from most forms of harm. However, other LSAs were able to penetrate these defensives. Taming or creating a biological 
Musiculacrum of LSA was quickly ruled it out. However, analysis of SCP-2406 showed that it could possibly be used in order to replicate the offensive capabilities of LSAs. The key project then began planning and constructing a similar automaton as it was the most viable means of defense. Construction of SCP-5514 began in the 1990 and proceeded normally until 6-30-1998 when SCP-5391 occurred. At the time of the event, SCP-5514 was not fully finished and could not be used to advert the MH class scenario. However, it remains the most viable means of defending the world from all LSAs and the foundation diverted all its available funds into completing it. Furthermore, the foundation contracted various groups of interest in order to make SCP-5514 a collaborative project. The majority of the parties were unable to assist as they were either unprepared for the MH class scenario or significantly hampered by it. However, the Global Occult Coalition was both active and able to lend aid. Cooperation from the Global Occult Coalition was confirmed following an emergency summit hosted by the High Brazil government in 7-10-1998. Alright, so this is a pretty cool SCP. Uh, in this SCP document, you could also find a transcript of the meeting held by the different coalitions and foundation members along with the He Brazil um, group that worked together in the creation of this SCP, SCP-5514. And you can also, in the same document, you could find different um, characteristics, different uh, features about the SCP-5514. So yeah, I'll be putting a link in the description so you could check it out. On to the next SCP. All right, so this next SCP is very similar to the first SCP I read about, uh, SCP-5514. This SCP was created years ago by an ancient civilization to handle some threat, a major threat, and it's a, it's a huge robotic humanoid, right? So it's very similar to the first SCP. Uh, the name of the SCP is 2406, Special Containment Procedures, Provisional Site 31 has been built around SCP-2406 and is to maintain the facade of a Kastani military facility. Type A Hamzat suits are mandatory when working directly with SCP-2406 as is the decontamination upon exit. A security perimeter of armed guards is to remain in place at all times in order to prevent unauthorized access. Direct interactions with SCP-2406-1 requires authorization by site command. Description SCP-2406 is a mechanical automaton, 93 meters in height and weighing approximately 210 tons. Research indicates that SCP-2406 was not sentient and required at least 6 operators to properly function. It is hypothesized that SCP-2406 was piloted via 160 different valves and levers within its interior. Limbs were controlled through the application of pneumatics, hydraulics, and clockwork, and powered by a nuclear reactor located within its torso. SCP-2406 was discovered on August 7, 1985 in Arklam Desert, formerly the eastern basin of the Aral Sea, during an effort to track the unusually high levels of radiation in the water. Initially contained by Gru Division P, SCP-2406 would be transferred into Foundation custody following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Despite the location of its recovery, SCP-2406 is believed to have been built somewhere in the Aegean Sea. Most of SCP-2406 is composed of an alloy consisting of 75-80% to 80 copper 15-20% to 20 zinc and smaller percentages of nickel, lead, and iron. The admixture responsible for the bronze appearance. Inscribed upon the posterior of the exterior torso is the Angean numeral 
2049, suggesting that SCP-2406 may not be an entirely unique construction. However, as of to date, it remains the only of its kind known to the Foundation. The anterior of the exterior torso is engraved with a stylized hammer and anvil. The right arm was equipped with a nozzle attached to a 20,800 liter, liter tank. Although the tank was discovered empty, chemical testing revealed pine resin, naphtha, quicklime, calcium phosphide, and sulfur within its interior. The left arm appears to have been torn from SCP-2406 and was not initially recovered with SCP-2406. See addendum for details. Human skeleton remains, six in number, have been removed from the interior of SCP-2406 with radiocarbon dating placing their deaths at Cal 1200 or 1000 BCE. All were found to be attired in armor that, while roughly Mycenaean in design, is composed of material never used in ancient warfare. A lead and copper alloy with an inner lining composed of asbestos fabric. The helmet would have completely covered the head with a green tinted glass visor over the face. Tubes constructed from goat intestines fed outside air directly into the mouths of the pilots. Valve number 136 would have caused a momentarily release of water into these tubes, allowing those within to remain hydrated while operating SCP-2406. A similar system of tubes attached at the crotch and were presumably used in the expulsion of urine. SCP-2406 is currently disabled but could hypothetically be repaired and displayed extensive evidence of combat related damage. The head, torso and left leg were discovered impaled. The spines appear superficially chitinous and despite showing strong structural similarities to coral contain human DNA. It is believed that these objects function as projectiles employed by an unidentified anomalous organism. Indentations around the torso are suggestive of construction by a large and prehensile appendage. Originally thought to be caused by normal corrosion, SCP-2406 outer layer was damaged by a strong acid substance, likely associated with the previously noted unidentified anomalous organism. Physical evidence suggests that the reactor core melted through the posterior torso, penetrating the earth and cont continues to burn at more than 1200 degrees Celsius. It is estimated to be presently located at approximately 820 meters beneath the surface. The reactor, when intact, has been hypothesized to have functioned in a manner similar to natural nuclear fusion reactors deviating significantly from modern design. It is possible that the creators of SCP-2406 were aware of such phenomenon and attempted to mimic the process. Similar scrolls were recovered from a watertight cylinder within SCP-2406. Most appear to be of a religious nature and associated with the followers of Mekhan, the historical precursors to the modern church of the broken god. The scrolls were written in a unique script derived from Mycenaean Greek. It required 10 years of research for foundation linguists to decipher this system of writing. These documents include a variation of the book of Pieces, chapter 12. So this is a very interesting SCP. I'll be putting a link in the description below so you could check it out for yourself and also see what the scrolls that they found within this SCP have to say, you know, what information they contain. So in case you're interested, you can find it in the description below. On to the next SCP. Okay, so the last SCP is called SCP-4970. 
It is another SCP that has to do with technology, but it is not a massive robot built to fight off threats or monsters. It is a office phone. So SCP-4970, object class safe. Special containment procedures. The office building housing SCP-4970 has been purchased by the foundation and all non-foundation employees have been dismissed under the disguise of bankruptcy of blank electronics. Employees that were involved with SCP-4970 have been administered amnesthetics and released. Description SCP-4970 is an ISDN type video phone primarily used for home office and small businesses situated in the former blank electronics office. SCP-4970 is functionally identical to its non-anomalous counterparts apart from the display which seems defective when used for a video call. A single phone number hereafter referred to as SCP-49701 is stored in SCP-4970's internal memory which has more digits than can be displayed on SCP-4970 screen. Attempting to call SCP-49701 on any other device results in failure. SCP-4970 is not able to call non-anomalous phone numbers. Selecting SCP-49701 instantaneously connects the caller with an automatic selection bot which speaks to the user in 17 languages before English is offered. In a separate test, over 4,093 different dialects were dis discerned before the test was terminated after 13 hours. Most of the languages have no resemblance to any language used throughout history. Some vocalizations are unable to be reproduced by human vocal cords, or are outside of the frequency spectrum audible to the human ear. After English is selected, the user will be connected to a representative of SCP-49708, an anomalous help desk named Universal Information Technology. The caller can then inquire on various topics, even abstract queries like the laws of physics, philosophical problems, and metaphysical concepts. It is unknown who registered the number in SCP-49701's memory, but SCP-4970-A was seemingly used to provide blank electronics with information that could be used to improve electronic devices rapidly, giving the company an edge over their competitors. Okay, so those are the three SCPs I'm going to be covering for this video. And to those who suggested SCPs, thank you very much. I appreciate it greatly. And I'll be putting a link in the description below so you could check out the SCPs for yourself. And by the way, I'm sorry for not uploading videos more frequently. I've had a busy, you know, a lot of stuff going on. But hopefully I could get back to uploading videos on a frequent schedule. But thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video and leave suggestions down below of any SCPs or creepypastas you may have. If I read them, I'll give you a shout out in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching.